Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to move a virtual machine from Hyper-V to Proxmox V hypervisor. Nowadays, virtualization has become an integral part of IT infrastructure, and many companies use all kinds of hypervisors to launch their apps and services. Sometimes, users may need to move a virtual machine from one hypervisor to another. In this case, if you have a virtual machine working on Hyper-V and you would like to transfer it to Proxmox, you may need additional information about how to do it properly. In today's video, we will explore the steps you need to take to move a virtual machine successfully from Hyper-V to Proxmox. Now, there can be a few reasons to make you want to transfer a virtual machine from Hyper-V to Proxmox. First, transition to a different virtualization platform. If you have a virtual machine which you would like to run on a different virtualization platform, you may have to transfer the machine to that platform. The second reason is better performance. If you notice that your virtual machine works slowly or not too effectively on Hyper-V, moving it to Proxmox may improve the situation. The third reason is software update. If you are planning to update your Proxmox or Hyper-V, you may need to transfer the virtual machine to a new platform. The fourth reason is a server failure. If one of the servers where the virtual machine is running suddenly breaks down, moving it to another server might be required to make sure that your work continues without any downtime. In any of the cases I have listed, moving a virtual machine elsewhere could be the step you are required to take to preserve the system operability. Before you take any actions affecting your virtual machine, we strongly recommend creating a backup so that you don't lose any important data. Creating a virtual machine backup before it is moved to a new platform, in this specific case it's Proxbox, is extremely important. You need this backup so that you can always revert changes in case something goes wrong with the migration process. Also, creating a backup gives you a chance to see that the virtual machine works properly before this machine is moved elsewhere. If the virtual machine encounters certain issues after the migration, you can always go back to the backup file and try to fix the problem. Besides, creating a backup is a good virtualization practice because it helps you to prevent data loss and possible system damage in case of any system failures or user errors. To create such a file, you can use the tools for scheduling automatic backup. To create a backup in Hyper-V, just export the virtual machine. After that, you will need to import a machine in order to restore it. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog, you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Here is what you have to do if you want to move a virtual machine. Before you start moving a virtual machine from Hyper-V to Proxmox, you need to make sure it is stopped. Choose a virtual machine to move and stop it if it's running. At the next step, after the virtual machine is stopped, you should create its image. And this is how you do it. Open Hyper-V Manager and choose the virtual machine you'd like to move. Right-click on it and select Export. After that, select a directory where to save the virtual machine image and choose Required Export Options. Then click Export and wait for the process to finish. The third step is to move the virtual machine image to Proxmox. For this purpose, you can use any FTP client. Connect to the Proxmox server by FTP and upload the exported virtual machine file. Now you should create a new virtual machine in Proxmox. To do it, open a browser to access the hypervisor controls. Create a new machine by clicking on Create VM. 
give all its properties. In the virtual machine you have just created, remove the existing disk and import a new one. Open the new virtual machine settings, jump to the hardware tab, select the hard disk and click on the detach button. When the disk is detached, you can remove it. The corresponding button appears here. Click remove. Now you need to convert the virtual machine file into the format which is supported by Proxmox Hypervisor. You can choose between using a utility like Starwind V2V Converter or using Package Manager tools in Linux. I'll show you how to convert VHD into an IMG file and to import it into a virtual machine. For starters, let's install the command prompt utility called VHD to IMG. This utility can be installed to Proxmox with standard package managers in Linux. Here are the steps you should take to install VHD to IMG in Proxmox. Open shell in Proxmox and run the command. Install VHD to IMG with this command. Check if VHD to IMG utility is installed using another command. If this command runs successfully, the utility is installed and ready to use. Now, use one more command to convert the virtual machine file. At the beginning, you have the virtual machine file format VHDX and the path to such file. They are followed by the path to the converted file. After conversion, the resulting file should be imported into Proxmox. To import a disk, use this command. It contains the virtual machine ID, the path to the IMG file, and the storage directory. This tool lets you convert files into the IMG format, which is also supported by Proxmox. Open the virtual machine settings in Proxmox Hypervisor, choose Hardware, and you will see a new disk which is unused. Click Add it, and then Add in the new window that opens. Now that the disk is added, start the virtual machine. As you can see, it runs properly. Moving a virtual machine from Hyper-V to Proxmox can be a challenging task, but with the right kind of planning and preparation, it can be as seamless as possible. For starters, you need to understand the differences between Hyper-V and Proxmox and make sure that your virtual machine is supported by the new platform. After that, create a virtual machine backup and prepare the new Proxmox server for importing the virtual machine. In the course of transferring the machine, make sure that all of the settings have been correctly moved to the new platform. After the transition process is over, check if the machine works properly. If any issues arise, you can use the backup to revert the machine to its previous state. Finally, it should be noted that moving a virtual machine is a complicated process, so if you have any doubts or you lack confidence in your skills, it's better to contact professionals or study manuals and tutorials more closely. And if you lost any data from your virtual machine, use the proper tool to bring it back – Hetman RAID Recovery. It will help you restore lost files from virtual disks. This program supports all popular hypervisors, including Hyper-V and Proxmox. 
You can learn more about data recovery from virtual machines if you watch other videos on our channel, and I'll put the link in the description below. And that is all for now. Hopefully, this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channels. Leave comments under this video to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!